I just picked up the Asus Tinkerboard at Micro Center for $50. It's uh, $10 off of the MSRP of $60, so I got it for $50 at Micro Center. And the only thing this comes with is a heat sink. It comes with a, a few pieces of paper on, on how to put it, how to download something, but um, otherwise it only has a heat sink. And it does not come with a power supply or uh, memory. So it comes with two gigabytes of storage of memory, RAM, and it comes with uh, no onboard storage other than that. Uh, the only storage it comes with is uh, an SD card slot. So you have to buy your own card for mass storage. And that's how you also um, install your operating system. It's through the SD, just like the Raspberry Pi. And uh, the heat sink is required because it gets really hot. With the heat sink, uh, the temperatures get up to about 145 degrees Fahrenheit or 62 degrees centigrade. So it gets very hot. So uh, if you don't use it, it will probably boil itself over. It will definitely reach way above boiling point. Uh, the only out the it's the same output as um, Raspberry Pi. It's got audio output. But it also comes with audio input, which Raspberry Pi does not. So it's got this four pin uh, audio jack, four conductor audio jack. So it's got left, right. So it's got ground, left, right, and microphone input. Sound also comes out of the HDMI. It's a full HDMI port and it lets out sound, video and sound. And it also supports 4K. I don't have a 4K monitor, but I've tested it with uh, standard um, 1080 uh, it's powered by uh, micro USB exactly in, in fact it's, it's exactly the same as the uh, Raspberry Pi it's got four port four uh, USBs and one gigabit Ethernet Raspberry Pi comes with 10100 this comes with a full gigabyte gigabit Ethernet and it's got the camera port here and uh, display port not display for DSI here and CSI here that you can connect uh, with a LCD panel and a camera port here. I've tried the um, Raspberry Pi camera, standard camera that comes with a Raspberry Pi, but uh, I haven't had any luck with it. It doesn't detect it or anything like that, it never turns it on. So no luck with that. Uh, it comes with Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth via this thing here. What's inside this uh, metal plate here and this circuitry here. Uh, this shield, this metal shield inside is uh, electronics for uh, Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth Bluetooth 4 and uh, wireless uh, B, G, and N. And it's got this connector here. It's got a built-in antenna, but it's it's. If you look carefully, you see it's it's a separate chip. It's a separate separate circuit board that's been mounted on the circuit board. So it's circuit board on circuit board, and this connector here connects to the main circuit board, and then the antenna is somewhere here. There's this blank space. I think that's how it, it works. Also, just like the Raspberry Pi has a blank space of a triangle. It's got a blank space of a square. I think that's where the antenna is. It's like an empty area. And then um, the same technology, and so you you can upgrade it to a external antenna if you unplug that and plug in an external antenna. Uh, it's got some pretty quality parts here. It's got a you know you see the capacitors on the, a solid. It's got a metal can on the capacitors, and it uses standard um, parts you would find on a laptop or a desktop. You can see here, you can see it, these are all standard, these are all good quality uh, desktop laptop parts. I already placed the heatsink on the processor, but it was a rock chip. And video is very, really, really fast. This, this board is actually surprisingly very fast, as much like probably more than. It says it's twice as fast as the Raspberry Pi, but the thing is it's got more memory. It's got two gigabyte 
the RAM instead of one gigabyte. So it plays video, you can watch YouTube on the Chrome browser and it runs full screen or in a window, in a small window, in a big window, full screen, it will run uh, smoothly. I tested it on a 1080 uh, monitor and that full screen was didn't, didn't have any problems. The only thing was that the CPU was hot. And to prepare the SD card, you do it the same way as uh, Raspberry Pi. You flash it with, uh, if you do it with Linux, it's, uh, I think it's pretty simple. You just use the DD command, uh, byte size, BS equals 16M. Uh, in file will be your standard, would be the in file that you downloaded from ASUS, and out file will be the SD card. So it's the only, the only difference between writing this, this uh, SD card and writing a card for Raspberry Pi is that the Raspberry Pi, the, the, the byte size is uh, four megabytes versus this one, 16 M. I don't think that's strict. You can use any byte size. So I already done all that stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna power it up and see how fast it runs. So I'm just gonna connect a standard HDMI, full HDMI uh, cable here, and for keyboard, I'm just going to use a wireless uh, Logitech keyboard here. Wireless keyboard, so that it doesn't get in the way of things. And I'm just going to power it up with the uh, USB, micro micro USB here, standard phone charger. So I plug it in the power, and it takes a few seconds, and then it comes up. I'm just going to give you a general idea of what, what comes up, it just boots up. And then you get several blank screens. When you boot it up, you get a blank screen, then you get the text, then you get blank screen again. And then now you got the mouse and everything. And you see it's just uh, standard Debian and it's a uh, desktop here, LXM, just a standard. Uh, Debian uh, desktop here. And it gets a desktop, it get, goes to the desktop, and then it logs out for some strange reason. Not sure why. And then it just logs you out, and then you gotta log in again. So you're already in, you could do whatever you want, and then it just kicks you out, and then you gotta log in again. The standard login is uh, L I N A R O, password, same thing. L I N A R O. And then you log in again. So, <laughs> not, not not really secured. So you you get the desktop before the login. So I just launch launch a browser. So we bring up the YouTube and. Very good. So in the window, so either in a small window, a large window, or full screen. A little jittery, but what final secrets will Castini reveal as it makes its death dive to Saturn? Right for the most part, it's good, it's washable for the most part. It jitters a little bit. I guess if you use a low resolution, it would um, have better performance. But if you're not watching video, if you're uh, 
doing other kinds of browsing, it should be okay. I can scroll, and it seems okay. It's smooth when I scroll and when I move, dra move the uh, window around. Kind of does that has that problem. Where there's a little delay. When I move my mouse, uh, by the time I get to the bottom, it it uh, takes a little while to follow the mouse to the bottom. Like for example, right now, the mouse is on top. I move bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. You see, it, it, there's a bit of delay. See that? It's I let go the mouse long ago, and it's still moving. So there's that issue. So let's try another website. It's a pretty, so we go to Yahoo and it's a pretty busy website. Scrolling is a little, still a little bit awkward. Yeah, it's a bit of a delay. So we'll try a simpler website, simpler page, and it scrolls fine. So without heavy uh, media, it scrolls apparently uh, pretty well. It's got, it runs at 1.8 gigahertz, and it's got four cores, and one thread per core, so it's four cores and four threads. So it does four things at once per clock cycle that is. Alright, so it's a pretty decent device. Um, I, I, again, I just got this, uh, so I don't have a tremendous amount of uh, experience with this. Um, but from my uh, limited um, experience with this, uh, it it tries to, it, it, it's uh, physically like the Raspberry Pi, but it does not work like the Raspberry Pi. Um, and and obviously nothing's compatible. You can't download Raspberry Pi software and put it there. And uh, the camera doesn't seem to work. Some people have gotten it to work, but I haven't. Uh, the official Raspberry Pi 7 inch uh, LCD dis display is supposed to work with this. That's what they claim. But um, we'll see. Maybe they'll come up with drivers for it later. But uh, these are their claims. They claim that their the Raspberry Pi uh, camera works with it, but it doesn't. Um, some people have gotten it to work, but definitely not plug and play at the moment. I'm sure they'll figure something out. I mean, it just came out um, probably like six, seven months ago. So uh, we'll give him some time and see how it develops. I mean, it is a big name. It's Asus. So Asus stepped in. Uh, Samsung came up with one. And so the big names are coming up with these boards. So, it's, so I guess uh, I'm sure there will be more. There's like endless clones of uh, Raspberry Pi out there. So there'll be more. Right, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see what else I discover about this guy. Have a good day.